This is an Iron Man gauntlet. The most powerful machine in the entire universe. It can power our sun for the next 100 trillion years. And you can also use it to travel in time. Well, those are all lies. Apart from the first one. Now you might be wondering how a black dude like me got my hands on such a powerful machine like this. For you to understand, we have to go back in time 14 years ago. The year is 2008. Iron Man movie had just been released and the closest way you could watch the movie was going into the theaters with your friends. With a large number of tickets like Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 1 because Iron Man 1 was a goddamn movie. 2008 was also the year that I got my hands on a new set of industrial tools which back then was a dream come true. So after watching the Iron Man 1 movie, I thought it was so fucking cool, I wanted to build my own Iron Man suit. So I head over to YouTube to do my research. I watched a ton of engineering videos on how the Iron Man suit function and there weren't that much movies on the internet back in the days. But I didn't let that stop me. The sheer will to become Iron Man was far greater than me not getting enough videos on the internet. So I set out to become the real life Iron Man on the planet. Well, I let was a failure like my life. The suit featured amazing abilities like repulses, lasers, and other stuff, but the suit didn't do so well. I don't know, maybe there was a problem with my calculation or something. I don't know. So I and my brother got back to work in the span of six months, but the suit still didn't perform as planned. So that was when I realized that I still had a very long way to go, but I didn't give up. I keep pushing forward because you should never give up. You know what they say? Small PP. But big dreams so i spend my days watching it over and over again so that i can get some ideas on how to build my iron man suit now we're still in 2016 and the hottest movie in the neighborhood is captain america civil war anyway it was time for me to make my dream a reality so me and my brother got back to work and started building a new iron man prototype suit but for some reason the suit still didn't work out as planned even though we had cross-checked every design and calculation almost a billion times. So it would seem to me that I still had a lot of things to learn. Yes, I had to work harder. Speaking of learning, this was also the year that I had left before I wrote my final exams in junior high school. So I didn't have that much of a time. Yes, I took a break from building things. So fast forward to 2020 and coronavirus hit the world. Fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. Today the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. And I was stuck in my room doing absolutely nothing. So I decided to revisit my Iron Man project. Well, it was difficult at first since it's been over four years since I worked on it, but I felt motivated and set the wheels in motion again. I started doing research again and I stumbled on a YouTube video titled Futuristic Gauntlet by David J. Guyton. And in this video was a tutorial on how to build an Iron Man gauntlet. So I derived some inspiration from his work and I also watched some of the Hacksmith videos and other cool YouTube channels too. And now I was practically a full-blown billionaire playboy philanthropist. Time to start making some goddamn suits. So I built my first Iron Man gauntlet prototype, which I named it the Mark One. 